Uh, how is the fam, by the way? And how the fam's uh, good. It's summer. They're just chilling out. We're. I got to see them uh, randomly on the street with your uh, husband, and I saw them. Nice. They're very cute. Uh, how old are they now? They're eleven. They're twins. Are they eleven? Yeah, and wow, they're so just we're spending time. It's a cool age, eleven. It's happening fast. Your girls are how old? Eight and seven. Or yeah, something. so that's a, like it's a fun age where you don't have to really micromanage them all of the time, and they you can sort of hang out and coexist with them, right? Correct. Ish. That's exactly right. Yeah, I can coexist. They're you know, watching through. content. Gideon's a big gamer. He loves Minecraft. Roblox? He likes the Roblox, all right. Um, Harper's into horror movies. See, that's, that, isn't that interesting? They're twins. Yeah. You feed them the same food. Yeah. You read them the same books. Raise them gender neutral. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> here they are, two different human beings. Totally different. Yeah. And she so looks... what do you say to a girl who wants to watch horror movies? Like, do you say absolutely not? Because then she wants to watch them more. She's just seen It now? No. Scary. I can't even watch the trailer for It. <laughs> she binge watched Stranger Things, so she's like, not like, horror horror, but still scary. What's up there? And so she keeps asking me, Papa, what is the scariest movie that you've ever seen? And I know where this is going, because I, I said, I'm not going to tell you the scariest movie, because she's going to want to watch that. Of course. Papa, what's the, please tell me the scariest movie you've ever seen. I said, The Shining. So she says, can I watch The Shining? Yeah, of course. And I said, no, you can't watch The Shining. The Shining is really psychologically terrifying. Yeah. And so she just kept asking and persisting, and so we watched The Shining last week. Wow, what a beautiful family <laughs> father-daughter moment. I don't know if it was a good call, but she, I fit, you know, I finished, and it's still really scary. It is, like right? Jack Nicholson, super freaky, bloody elevator. Oh, it's the like, blood flows bam. through the hall, and the twin on the, the tricycle. girls uh, staring, oh, yeah. scary. And she was like, I said, so what do you think? She said, I'm mildly disappointed. <laughs> I'm mildly disappointed? I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed. I love that she well, said why, that. Why? Why? It's a, I, she said, that was the scariest movie you've ever seen? <laughs> I was like, well, it's not scary like 2022 scary. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, not, a different it's a different jump scare, scare. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, it wasn't that scary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good for her. And she has slept in our bed for like the last four nights. <laughs> <laughs> ah, reality, reality. Yeah, it was a little scary, wasn't it? It was a little scary. Uh, you I want to talk to you about something you started about a year ago. This thing is called Wonder Wondercade. Wondercade, yeah. And I think it's a great uh, uh, word. If you go to wondercade.com, Com. It's free. It's a newsletter, mm -hmm. a weekly mm -hmm. or by a weekly weekly newsletter that Wondercade Wednesdays just yeah. happened today. Yeah. Explain to people what Wondercade is and why didn't you start this? I love that you did it. <sighs> I'm. Uh, Old enough now, and I've, I have a lot of varied weird interests of like magic and circus and uh, traveling, and I like mixology. My husband's a, an actor as well as a chef. Yeah, and so we, food, do we talk about that. a lot of things. I host Tony Awards and say, like, come see Broadway shows. So I feel like I have some things to talk about yes. in the entertainment world. And so I thought it would be fun to do sort of a weekly missive of random things. So I, I came up with wonder, like wonder and wonderful, and Cade, like arcade or cavalcade, and I put them together, Wondercade, because uh, the URL was available. <laughs> yeah, so I own the that. site. So you go to wondercade.com, you put in your email, that's it, that's the whole thing, and then every You invented Wednesday, the word wonder Wondercade. And, uh, it sounds and like a word I've, I know. Thank you. It's fantastic. Well and done. And now more people know it. And then yeah. every Wednesday it's just stuff. Like I'll teach how to make a Negroni, the one that just came out was all about Farmer's Market. David went with Michael Anthony, who's an amazing chef yes. uh, from Gramercy Tavern, and they went Love to a Michael Farmer's Anthony. Market, and then they sort of explain when you go to a Farmer's Market what you should look for and, and some recipes on that. It ends with a, a puzzle. It's I kind of like a fun that. weekly thing. I don't I, know. I love this. Wonder Kid, everyone check it out. Yeah, if you, you go there, just type your email in. You get a fun email. You go, oh, this is awesome. I Thank love you. it. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm yeah, very. Uh, you mentioned that. I uh, that. Oh, please. I'm, I'm, I'm on. Nice. I'm signed up. I get it. I love it. Uh, I want to talk about Uncoupled because I'm very excited about this. Uh, uh, I love a good show, and I love. Uh, I do, and I love. Uh, I love who's behind it. Can you tell everyone who's behind the show? Sure. Darren Starr uh, is the is the co-creator. Sex in the City. Sex in the City. Emily in Paris. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, come on. That's up my alley, man. I love that. It's, they're only half-hour episodes. Uh, they come out on Fridays, eight of them. It's about uh, my character, Michael's in a 17-year relationship with his partner, Colin. And uh, Michael thinks everything's going well. And uh, on his 50th birthday, not Michael's but Colin's, yes. Michael's throwing him a surprise party. And just as he's about to open the door at this big event space with hundreds of people waiting, Colin says, I've, I've taken all my stuff and I've left, and we're no longer together. 
And then surprise! <laughs> and then the door opens. Open. Hi! Big party. Party! And so the whole series is like a breakup show of what happens when you've been sort of sucker punched uh, with with terrible news and you're single again in New York City. So yeah. it's a comedy, but um, no, there but are, has yeah, some there like, are great jokes in there. But I it's mean, sort of. I mean, it is Darren Star, so it's Darren got Star. real estate agents, so it's got some New York, you know, real estate porn kind of vibe. <laughs> The city's a character within it, which I think you can appreciate. It's you got a nice it. feel. It does. It, you know, if you know, if you know Darren Star, know any of those shows. I mean, there's always it's just some good acting, it's some good uh, puzzles in there, conundrums yeah. and life lessons. But it's also fun. Some pithy conversation. Pithy is a very good word. And then you kind of shed a tear. I'm really proud of it. It's it's tonally an interesting show. But yeah, breakups it, are breakups by by design. And it all comes out Friday. Oh, yeah, all Friday. So you can binge watch the whole thing. Breakups aren't always sad. You know, there's funny, there's funny things that happen in yeah, life. Yeah, what time? Through sadness. Yeah, through your sadness, breakups become fun. Right, and I thought making a, sh a gay show on Netflix about a gay relationship that's ending would be very niche, right? Only for like gay men of a certain age. And it turns out that break breakups are pretty universal and pretty relatable. <laughs> yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, trust me. Yeah. Everyone has. We just had a thing of why I'm single on our show. Yeah. yeah. Everyone can relate to this at all. It's very, very good, yeah. very funny. I want I'm to show everyone a clip. Oh, Here's cool. Neil Patrick Harris in Uncoupled. Take a look at this. Isn't it great? I don't even care that we're the oldest gays in the club. No, honey, you keep dancing. We have just as much right to be here as. I any. think that's Colin. Well, first of all, you look fantastic. Really do. So hot. It's not him. Oh, uh, thank God. I'm not even sure if I'm happy or not that that wasn't him. I need a drink. Mikey, there's only one way you're going to move on from this. Yeah, it's been one whole week. Enough with the wallowing. Sorry, I just think if you want to start feeling better, you got to pop your collar and cherry and get laid. So eloquent. Sadly, I don't disagree. So glad to know that you're both on the same page about what's best for me. Uh, three vodka sodas, please. What do you guys want? <laughs> Very nice. What do you guys want? Neil Patrick Harris, everybody. Uncoupled premieres this Friday on Netflix. Cara Delevingne joins us when we come back. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.